Hey everybody, what is going on? It's your boys at 33, welcoming you back to another episode of TFT Time. Today we're going to be jumping into things by playing a nice normal game of I don't know what I'm going to pick. Basically what's going to happen is I'm going to sit AFK in the starting carousel. Whatever champion I get here is whatever I build my team around. Now, obviously, there's a lot of RNG in this, technically, because there may be champions that are really good here, with good items, because items are kind of a priority early on in the game, so hopefully we get something decent. Okay, so... I've been having a very nice weekend. I picked up a new Pokemon game. And I was just decided to start playing it today as a whole. I'm only at the uh, fourth gym now. I've just got past the Castle City, just going out of there. So if you know where that is in the game, I'm not going to give too many spoilers. That's where I am. And one thing I noticed about this game is it's very easy. And I mean very easy to level up your team. So my starter that I've got is level 46. And I could have kept going and got him up to 100. It would have probably taken another two hours if that, to do that, but uh, ooh, Infernal Hex, I mean I go in Assassin tier probably, or the Varus, there is an Assassin avail, there is no Assassin available, and they're two shitty picks, I mean Predator isn't too bad, I don't think I'm getting Predator, I am getting Predator, okay, we can go Crystal with our build here, and that's actually quite good. Crystal is quite strong. Like, I had a game where I just AFK'd after I got so far. Because I had Max Crystal. Like, I had Lux. I had the Janna. Not Janna. The Tarek. And I basically went AFK and won the game. Well, fourth place. From when there was only six people left. So I, I did pretty good. And apparently I beat a load of people as well. Okay, so... Good concept to build up right now is obviously Predator with this uh, Scanner. So we'll do that. The Sparring Glove. I mean, we could go... Berserker alongside this, which wouldn't be a half bad shout. Pick up the Mundo, pick up the Olaf. Olaf and Warwick giving you Glacial as well. That would actually be quite good. And I'm actually contemplating sticking IE on the Skarna right now. But I think it'd be better for you to turn that into a Hand of Justice or a Berserker Glove. Anyway, we're at 9 coins. I'm going to save these coins. Because hopefully we get a coin drop from this minion wave. So that we're gaining plus 1 interest already. That's the goal, anyway. <laughs> Whether or not it's achievable, we'll see. Okay, so, here we go. This wave, pretty easy. We shouldn't lose this. And hopefully, we actually get a decent sort of drops. Of course, the last thing to drop is an item. We've got GA possibility there. And also a... Oh, I'll pick up you. Got GA. 
I spawn Gauntlet, which is an alright item for Skana. Much better on a Jax, but still a decent item for a guy you want to be a tanky boy. Anyway, first round we're coming up against an AFK? No, he's not AFK. Ocean Mage. Okay, fair enough. Not something that I would use, like... I get the good it's a good combo. Much prefer a sort of a mage summoner team. Like yeah, there is no synergy between the two as a whole. Like there's no linking pieces. But it's still a good combo because you're obviously making summoners mages. And them summoners, uh, like Annie, for example, are double summoning Tibbers. So you're basically gaining two big boys for free. Whereas if you make Zed a summoner, that just gets crazy, and we love crazy things. Anyway, let's just look at what we've got right now. We have Predators, we have the base of our Berserker team also being set up with the Mundo. <clears throat> Obviously if we get a spatula now we can turn our Skana into a Berserker and get our Berserkers fully going. Plus we do have the combo of also Poison on the line here. That isn't too bad to be honest. Could pick up a twitch and actually make this go very deadly like anyway I'm actually gonna spend our coin to look for some predators so we actually get a bit more strength into the team because right now in that last round we were lacking now I am gonna ignore the Rek'Sai because he isn't necessary because we already have the scanner. And this is kind of a Rek'Sai vs. Skana matchup. Oh boy. This is a fairly even looking match, to be honest. Mind the fact that he has literally no traits. Let me just check. He has no traits. <clears throat> Wait, no, he had Steel. He had Rek'Sai and... Did he have a Nocturne? I swear he had a Nocturne. Either that or I'm hallucinating. Also, I can't even see his team. Anyway. What do we want here? I mean, there's a lot of Rika bows and Needlessleys. I... Presume we should take. I think we AFK it. We might as well. I'll bring out the keyboard. I mean, whatever we get here is either a Rika bow or a free IE on any champion. Okay, so we get the Rika bow. That's actually good. I can use that very effectively, so I'm actually going to stick our jacks on the board instead of obviously buying a new character because he does get a Swords Predator uh, Berserkers and he's obviously all fit quite neatly into this team. Mind you, so would a Scion. Because that was the other option on the remaining, I believe. Okay, this guy's got Glacials. And... Yeah, they're trying to actually kill me. Luckily, we have a Cogmore who's just stood there, free-firing in. Killing this guy off. 
quite nicely. I'll take another scanner. Oh yes, indeedy. Let's actually take a quick look at what berserkers we could go for. We're going for the Olaf. The other option would be a Scion. And I'd much rather take this for now as the base with the berserker team. Because obviously we're going to get a Olaf. And obviously we want to get a Rage Blade on him. So we'll probably actually sell this Jax. Okay, so we've come up against a bit of a weird Blame Master team here. It's a Blame Master light team. That's why I've just figured out what it was. I was not paying attention to the fact that he had a Vein and a uh, Jax. Oh, and that's this. It is Blame Master light. One of those combinations that you'll see now and again, and that is actually huge. Okay. The game's kind of told me what I need to do. There we go. And there we go. So, Berserker is now officially on lock, shall we say. Also, I just realized that we've now got a BF sword. We have a GA. And we also have the parts necessary to obviously go halfway towards our Rage Blade. So we get that, we're good. Coins, nice actually. I'll take that. Spatch, no spatula. Just more money. Okay, so we're back above two interests now. Not what I expected to be at at this point. But it will do for now. Okay. I'll do this with my team. As a sort of protection for the COG. Because I think COG is actually our main damage dealer. He is. I'm surprised about that, considering he only does 81 damage. And a level 2 Warwick does 90. And a base level uh, Olaf does 70. <laughs> so yeah, that is quite iffy for me to think about. Okay. I think we lose this round pretty badly, to say the least, and that's our first loss. How have we avoided this guy for so long? Like, he has a very deadly Sumner team. Also Infernals. He's Infernal Sumner. He's also taunting for no apparent reason. I... I want to say some things, but I'm a nice guy. And I won't. But we'll save up our coins now. We might be starting a losing streak. That's fine by me. We'll start slowly gaining interest here. Also, looking at what we've got. Next round will be at 10 XP out of 20. If we get up... If we buy... Well... Two more rounds, we can obviously spend... 8 coins to get up to level 6. Do that, we stick a sign on the board. Also, this is where we actually take an L. That Cogmore shot didn't even land. Oh, another Olaf. I'll take it. 
Because the next round will be above 50 coins, I already can guarantee that. Uh, I think it'd be better if we do that of our team. Because at least then we've got our two jumpers in the same position. Or, we do this, and our two jumpers stay jumping. They're still in a position where they can actually protect. Like, watch it, oh, this guy's copied our team comp. He actually has, that's kind of lame. Like, he actually has full on copied us. <laughs> that's actually funny. <laughs> what an asshole. Like, copying someone's comp. I'm taking the uh, Olaf though. We're at least at the same time. No, we're not. He's released before me. He's gonna get the Olaf. Okay. I'll take Twitch. It's a free Rage Blade. And I kind of want it. And it's also four coins. Okay, four coins on lock. We'll get this Rage Blade online. Do I stick GA onto the, our Olaf? I can do that now. There we go, we have Berserker online. So. We're up against the Ranger Light Blade comp. Okay. Bit of a weird setup here he's going for. I understand it. Like, I get how good it is. Also, this is, should be him dying. Also, nice whiff of your ultimate there, Cogmore. You didn't even kill the vein. <laughs> oh, God. I'm starting to realize how bad its damage is. When I said realize, I mean remember. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're actually getting nothing of use right now. Which is worrying. <laughs> I'm actually sad that I... No way, I wouldn't need the cock either way. So I'm going to take the Twitch. I know I got rid of our Twitch. But, we get him on the board next round. Well, we get him on the board next available time. We do have ourselves Poison Buff. Now, I don't know about you, but Poison Buff is actually quite strong. Also, this guy's Aatrox is very strong. Yeah, we're dropping rounds now. However, we're holding on to a lot of gold. If we check everyone, he's got three coins, he's got three coins. He's full interest, but he's below me. Yeah, there's only... A few people... Going interest, and I'm one of them. <laughs> and also with that... I'm one of the people who have coins to spend to get up to next level quite quickly, like I could literally get up to level 7 right now for free. But I'm not going to, because I actually don't think it's worth it right now. I'd much rather rush level 8 than 7. Level 8's just free, if I just get the coins generated this early. And this is early. <laughs> Okay, so we actually did get some good items there. Huh. 
I'm thinking about what we do here. And, like, I'm contemplating getting you into the team. Like, Zed's a shadow, right? No. What's Zed secondary? He's Sumner and what? I forget. But, uh, we're definitely doing this. Giant Slayer. No. We'll just leave the BF sword on him for now. I forgot to spend up. Classic. Mm-hmm. This might be a win. This fray it is actually looking like a win. Because Olaf's just swinging. Yeah, Olaf is swinging. And Olaf got swinging quite fast there. So if we build him a Bloodthirster, I think people could understand the plan that's going to happen if we get a Bloodthirster onto our good old boy Olaf. Anyway. Sing singed or Twitch? We've got options. We're coming up on the carousel where Singe is most likely to spawn. Twitch we've got already, but like, it's, it's damage versus annoyance, really. Like, damage-wise, Twitch, you know, will do more damage, but Singe, you know, is going to just walk around, be a nuisance, cause the enemies to have to walk so far around the pitch. Also, this is an L. And I don't mind. Right. 60 coins. 50 coins. Boom. Spent just like that and Twitch is on the board. We have poison. And we're actually going to roll with it. Okay. I just checked some things and I'm not too happy. Uh, oh, I'm actually very happy right now. I just checked something and it's what I want. Sorry, I am also got Pokemon Shield up and going right now because I want to catch a certain Pokemon. It only appears during... X amount of weather and currently it's the right weather for said Pokemon whether or not it does spawn I'll be intrigued ooh a ye I might take that considering the Olaf's gone take the ye five coins and he could have a rage blade and it gives me shadow do I value shadow over poison because shadow gives us what it gives shadow champions deal increased damage for five seconds at combat start every time they take get a takedown well that is perfect for ye Yeah, I'm definitely going for that. Get on the board, please. I'm going to try to run Shadow right now. Uh, do I, I'm rushing level 8. And now we have Poison. As well as Shadow. We do that. There we go. And we have an actual competent team, I would say, is the best way to describe it. All we need to know is level up what we've got. So what you're seeing right now is Shadow Yi with Rageblade doing work with a Predator base team. Hmm. 
yeah, you start to wonder why this works. And you then realise there's no skill involved. It's really just luck. Right. So. We're going to start interesting back up to get up to level 9. Like, once I know I can afford level 9, all that coin is going to just drop out of my bank. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> now we could go level 9 Mystic for our last character. Mystic obviously gives us the magic resist. Plus 40 is still a lot. And I kind of dig it, to be honest, because it's also ocean buff. Well, apart for ocean. Yeah, we have no ocean champions. But I'd still rather have a champion that I can use to get me something else. Than just something naff. Like, I don't know. Picking up a Tarek for Crystal. Mind you, Crystal is actually quite good. Crystal would be very good good, but hey -o. I'll stick with what we got, it's working out quite well for us, considering, <coughs> well no my switch is dead, I forgot to charge it. Well, I'll stick that back on charge and keep talking to you guys. That'll probably be good content. Anyway, we're up to camp now. Fairly easy. Not too much Rage Blade, really. The game really wants me to be raged up. There we go. Another Rage Blade. I mean, <laughs> now I just need one more Rika bow and I can have a second Rage Blade on someone. Probably ye. Because <laughs> I'm insane. And totally not trying to lose. Anyway, we're actually closing in on top four. And I haven't played any games today. And considering this is just a random build from whatever I got at the start, this has actually worked out very nicely. Okay, we've come up against a guy who's also rushed level eight. He's also the guy in first. Okay. We're actually demolishing his team right now. Yeah, we win. Nice. Can your Zarya plants go? Bye bye. There goes all his health. As I drink my coffee. In disgust of his team. That was fairly easy for us, to be honest. I'll take another Nami. And I'm still looking to. Oh yeah, I should probably pick up the scanner as well, considering we have one. I, I'm just not concentrating too hard, to be honest, right now. At what we've got. So, right now, obviously, we're in need of two more Cogmores, and I highly doubt we'll get that. But, I'm going to hope for it. Still need a Olaf. Wow, I didn't actually realise we haven't got level 2 Olaf yet. This guy's dead. I'm not going to say anything else, but I already know he's lost. The predators are just absolutely destroying him. Yeah. It's kind of a reason why Predator is still OP. Mind you, it hasn't been touched. In forever. Kind of like my sex life. I'm lonely, okay? <laughs> Jesus, that was terrible. So, if you were wondering... Actually, I should probably explain the setup. How I've lined up my characters here. So... We have our frontliners that cannot jump in these first 
a straight line here. The reason they're in a line is because we want them to engage at the same time or peel around if they've set up like that. Then we have our... Actually, I might lose this round, actually. Yeah, I've lost another... Ooh, that's a deadly loss. Eep. We lost a lot of health there. Okay. I want that... Either the Yi or the... Actually, I'm taking Olaf. It's a safe option. It gets me a level 2 Olaf. And I can make another Berserker as much as I don't need it. Probably should have took the Yi for a Bloodthirster, but... I'd rather have the guaranteed power than power that may come in a couple of rerolls. Like, I want to guarantee my power. And this is power. Anyway, I'm cashing out. Yeah, I know I don't have enough. Come fight me for it. Also, lol. I actually have to lock that though. But um literally three rounds of XP will get me up to level nine. Level nine means an army. On the board anyway. Actually I can just do that, do that, that. I'm I'm against a fake guy, I really shouldn't be worried. No, I'm not worried. It, even though he has got an Olaf who's actually looking hella thick. Jokes. So I can unlock my shop. I'm not going to upgrade the Olaf. I should get enough coins here to buy XP up. If not, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Okay. I guess we sell this. There we go. There we go. And... Oh, perfect. If we win this round, we get an army on the... Actually, wait, can I sell? Three, four... No, I can't sell to get her on the board. I was trying. <laughs> anyway. We're actually doing fine. We are bottom of the totem right now. But, I think we have the strongest team right now. And I say that with the upgrades we just made. Because, Tidal Wave's inbound, boys. Like, now. Come on now, Ami. There we go, Tidal Wave. I actually hit two of them. And considering we have got a Olaf... Actually, this might be a win. Oh. This guy... Actually, wait. Before... I actually finished fourth, which is good. Let's just count the level four... The three costs... Well, three coin champions he has. I'm not counting this as two, but one. Two. Four. He has four. I'm sorry, but... Let's just check this guy. Oh, you're going out soon. He's also not even using this. Now he is. He's... This is a guy... This was the guy that copied my team build. He went... Similar route, actually. Uh... You have one... Two... Uh, you have two... Three... You, you can tell this guy's going to win, because he just got so lucky. Anyway... I'm going to exit this game. If you enjoyed this game as well, leave a like down below for this random nonsense. Because yesterday's video, if you don't realise, was a random choice of every champion that's possible to be played in set 2. Uh, you're going to enjoy that because I actually made a proper good attempt at it. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here or if you want to. And I just realised something. Guy in fifth and guy in third have exact same teams, roughly, by the fact that 
they also stole my team comp at the start. Anyway, enjoyed it. Leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new around here or if you want to. And I'll see you guys later. So that was a third.